we read in the book of Daniel chapter 4, God gave a warning to a king. You may be a king, but you are a stupid fellow. If you do not know who you are, from where have you come, where are you going? If you are not addressing this issue while you are living on this earth, you are a fool, he said. Why? He was a king. God gave him a dream. In the dream, he saw a great huge tree full of fruits and so many birds. His life has become a blessing for many. Many people are coming to him. Many people are receiving blessing from him. The tree has become a huge tree full of fruits, full of shade for many. But one day, as he was seeing the dream, he saw the tree. Then he heard a voice from heaven saying, Cut down this tree. He got shocked. What? Cut down this tree. Yes. And then the tree was cut. When it was cut, the same tree which became a beauty, which added beauty and life to the place became a burden. It was lying lifeless. It is becoming dried up. The fruit started to rotten. The birds ran away from the tree. Nobody came for shade. Yes, he got up. He was sweating. Only a man who has gone beyond the body, who realizes life is beyond your body. There is a spirit. Man is a spirit. And if man develops the spirit, God's spirit will come and abide in him. And man's spirit will call Abba, Father. Man's spirit will begin to open to the heaven. Happen, open to the realities of heaven. Open to the revelations of heaven. And man's life becomes something eternal. A human can become eternal. It's a journey. It's a call. It's an effort. I was told a man who was bringing dogs, black dog and white dog to the market. And they asked, he asked, which dog will win? They said, black dog because it looks little bulky. But that day, white dog won. Everybody bet the money for the black dog. And white dog won. They were all wondering how this white dog is bony, how it could win. After the next week, only because marketing time, lot of people come, they have money. So people know how to cheat, how to collect the money. Like Satan. Huh? So next week he came with the same dogs. People knew last week white dog won. This time also white dog. So everybody put their money on white dog. But black dog won't. They didn't understand what is this. One fellow gave little tips to that fellow who brought the dogs. Do you know next week which dog will win? That fellow said, I know very well. Why? How? The dog... For the dog, the man who feeds the flesh of the dog will fail. If I want this dog to be failed, I will feed the flesh of the, take care of the flesh of the dog. Bring nice meat, chicken, all that mutton, beef, bones, give it to the dog. Which dog I wish to be lost. If I want this black dog to be failed, I will feed nicely. And that black dog will eat nicely. And it cannot even move. The another dog will come with a fiercely attack it and finish it up. The enemy is roaring like a lion. To take you to your flesh. 24 hours your mind to be on the flesh. Even if you come for retreat, 
who is the next lady who is sitting who is the next young fellow who is sitting how is she wearing what kind of dress what is her feet from top to down scanning who who has come for the lord the mind may be saying i am god but unless i have dealt inside because happiness is an inside job man has to come to realize who he is i am a flesh and this flesh is being used by the enemy 24 hours but my life is beyond the flesh and unless as we read in the book of isaiah chapter 54 verse 7 and verse 6 and 7 lord why am i not mad after to catch you yes why my spirit is not mad after what is that word no one who rouses himself what is that who rouses himself rouses means what rousing means what you take great effort you stand here suddenly you feel your fire is coming you rub you rouse yourself and run yet rousing means it's a, it's a, it happens within a time you recognize the danger and immediately you take an action and the lord says why everybody knows what's happening why people are not rousing up themselves and catching hold of god why they are not rousing themselves empowering themselves training themselves to catch hold that which is life that which is eternal they know their flesh is destroying them then why don't you run after the spirit why are you not hungering for that which is eternal which will remain with you forever and ever that doesn't happen by desire you have to rouse up you have to take an effort today the whole stupid world even in the name of preaching the gospel is all is about come to god he will give you your food come to god he will give you a big big houses come to god he will give you wonderful clothes wonderful cars and the stupid world is running after it but life is beyond that life is beyond this world life is beyond this flesh a time comes you can't proceed it with your flesh and your body the king got frightened he did not rouse up himself we read in the book of daniel chapter 4 he was he was confused many people when they get problem they are disturbed when they go through their families are broken they are disturbed their finances disturbed they are disturbed and they come to god to god should settle them but very few cry for god everybody wants solution but nobody wants to be get into the root many come to god god settle my finance god settle my loan god settle my marriage god settle he is only a settler that is a tragedy of man very few cry for him i need you lord i need you in every decision of my life i need you lord in every direction of my life if you say i move otherwise even if the world gives me gold i don't need today man is mad after support of somebody else will this fellow support me will my superior support me will that fellow will support me your life is beyond your support i am so a man who moves with the spirit only can reveal to you the things of the flesh only with the light you can see what's happening whether your dress is okay or not without the light you can't see what you are even wearing 